My name is Professor Noel Sharkey, Emeritus Professor at the University of Sheffield and Chairman of the International Committee for Robot Arms Control. And so my main work nowadays is working on the ethical application of robotics. Well, robots is making quite a big step forward, and if you excuse the pun at the moment, because uh, mechanically we've gotten an awful lot better. And also because computers have got a lot smaller they fit inside robots now, whereas in the old days you used to have a massive computer with a big tether to, to a robot. And when they finally took the tether away so that the robot ran under its own program, they called that an autonomous robot. And so nowadays people are thinking very hard about as many tasks as they possibly can for robotics. And many of these are so useful. The downside of that, of course, is that people are very concerned about employment issues, and, and that is a big, really a big problem. It hasn't come to anything yet. Uh, the figures show that rather than creating unemployment, robotics industry is actually creating another million jobs. But we can't rely on that forever. But for me, the main ethical issues are really concerned with uh, human care or human killing. So, for instance, in Japan, where there's a, really a lot of old people and not so many young people, so who's going to look after the old people? Well, the Japanese idea is to have robots look after them. Myself, uh, as I get older, I'd like a robot that could help me navigate around the house or help me navigate outside. If I have Alzheimer's or some sort of dementia, a robot that could remind me. So my general assistant does what I tell it to. Well, one worry is privacy. Uh, robots have camera eyes generally, and so someone would be monitoring me uh, or monitoring some old lady. and. Where, what, you know, what part of the house can it go to? She's in the bath, she's having a shower, she's standing there naked, the robot just walks in. You don't know who's sniggering on the other side of those cameras. You realise that what we're saying here is that a robot would hold me prisoner. So it might stop me from using sharp knives, it might remind me to turn off the cooker, that's okay. But if it, where do you draw the line? So these are the sorts of issues that we have to get right before we start. I'm actually very opposed to the idea of uh, childcare with robots. They absolutely adore robots. You know, you can run, I've run competitions all over the world for children and they, they love them. You can explain engineering, you can explain physics, you can explain s social and society using robots. But it's a different thing to leave your child with robots for long periods of time. And that would be the worry for me, is that because paradoxically, robots keep your children safe uh, you might be tempted to leave them for very long times, particularly if you're a busy professional and you have the equipment. So in that case, you could create very, very strange attachment disorders. But I guess the, the biggest issue facing society, and, and it is happening, is the use, use of robots by both the military and coming back to the civilian world to be used by the police. Those are the two really significant things. And they're particularly worrying because it's a multi-billion dollar industry. I think it's really morally outrageous and wrong for the idea of delegating to machines the decision to kill. But the problem is, and it is a major problem, a robot cannot discriminate between a civilian and a, and a child. Sorry, between a civilian and a, a combatant. Between a civilian and a soldier, it couldn't discriminate somebody who was surrendering.